Okay, everybody, so <clears throat> here's what I'm doing. I'm taking a G7 chord. The notes are G, B, D, and F. But I'm playing only three notes called the shell voicing um, with that G7 chord. So the chord always has to have the seventh in it for me to be building what I think is called a shell voicing. So the first one here, and this is position two. If you didn't see position one, you want to make sure you go back and watch that video in the series. They'll all be linked together in a playlist. But here's how I'm doing position two, which happens at fret three, out of kind of like your G7 bar chord form. But we're only playing a three note chord. I have the root G. I have the fifth D, and I have the seventh F. Now, my scales in this position involve altered um, an altered major or a major pentatonic scale. In the first position, I used more of the diatonic scale. I could be doing that here, but I wanted to just keep it all right under your hand for you. So I cheated. I made up some altered scales. So I have a G, D, and an F. And my eight note riff, eight notes because eight notes make up one measure in four, four times. So you have a whole measure of a riff. And then you can end on the chord, you could do the chord. It has a G, A, B flat, C, D, F, G, ending on a chord tone, the B. So I have the root, the second, minor third, fourth, fifth, minor seventh, root, third, G7 chord. My second G7 shell out of this shape has right here D, F is my seventh, and B is my third. I kind of like both of these. It's a pretty cool sounding, really. It's not something you normally would play, but it's a pretty cool sounding. My riff starts on the chord tone D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ends on a chord tone F. Again, I have the fifth, the seventh, the minor seven, the root, the flat three, the three, the four, the five, and then the seven to give me really like it just, they're like, just sound great together. Next shell voicing starts on seven, as the three and the five. I'm gonna hold it like that for you. The riff goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on the root. And our last G7 chord here is this one. The third, the seventh, and the root. Kind of a big stretch. But it's playable. It's kind of hard to do. End it on the third again. Scale starts on the chord tone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is all diatonic. B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B. So these are my shell voicings. I'm going to go over number one for you real quick just so you can see them now again and you know what all the dumb faces were about. G, B, and F. This is out of position one down here at like our open G7 place. G, 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 G B, D, G, B, F, sorry. Second one goes B, F, G. Great sound. Next one went F G B. I like that one. The next one went similar F G D. And the last one went G D F, which I really like.
hope this clears up what I'm doing for you in the series. I'm playing a shell voicing, which is just three notes for a G7 chord and always including the seventh in each voicing at different areas on the neck. Stay tuned. The next one coming up is position number three, which will be hanging around the fifth fret. So we'll see what we can find there for a G7 chord. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you get to play a lot of guitar.